again, what I'll do is I'll chop out all the unwanted words or the unnecessary words. So a car company offers a special discount deal. So I know I'm working with a um, percentage decrease because they're talking about discounts. Okay, so I know I'm talking about percentage decrease. After the cash deposit is paid, so something, uh, an item will be, an item will have a cost price, okay, and part of paying for that is to pay, um, sorry, is to pay, is to pay a deposit up front, is to pay a deposit up front, and the amount that remains to be paid is discounted by a percentage that is one tenth of the deposit. One tenth of the deposit. Yeah? And so we know in maths what that means and we know what that looks like and then we'll know that. Oh, so, and then they give us an example of all this, which is a beautiful thing that they do for us. For example, the cost price is $40,000 for this vehicle. The deposit is 8000 which represents a 20% uh, deposit of your cost price, yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Um, the remaining 32000 will be discounted by 2%. So the remainder will be 32000 that's pretty obvious, but the 40 left the 8. Yep. And that'll be discounted by 2%. That's 2%. Find the amount paid for each car given the following price, car price and deposits round to two decimal places. So in your first one, we'll try and do the first one on the board here. Uh, the price is 35000 So that's the cost price. The deposit is $7,000. Yeah? Okay. So what are they asking for us to find? Uh, the percentage of the deposit. The percentage of the deposit. So how did they go about finding this, do you think? So the deposit divided by the cost price times by 100. Deposit divided by cost price times by 100. Okay, so if we're using that same rule here, from here into this one, we would do deposit of 7,000 divided by 35,000 times by 100. What does that bring? What does that give us? 20%. So you're getting a 20% deposit here. Is that what you got initially? Yeah. Yeah. And so, what else are we asked to find? Um. So what's left to pay? What's left to pay out of that? Remainder. Good. You need seven times tables. Twenty-eight thousand. And then what's that going to be deposited, uh, reduced by? 2%. Okay. So does that make sense to you? That's pretty much what you got. So where did you go wrong compared to what they were asking for in the back of the book? What did they, what, what process did they go through in the back of the book or what did they come, what result did they come to in the back of the book? Of course, yep. Yeah. They had the answer as well. Thirty-four thousand four hundred and forty. Okay. So maybe it's got something to do with this here. So going through this process to find this. And then once you've found that, finding that of the cost price, maybe.
maybe. What you're trying to do is you're trying to work back from the 35,000 to say, okay, well, how did that occur? Alright? So I want you to try and independently do that with A to F, because you obviously need to clean that up a bit. Okay? Can I explain that better? discount for customers who pay with cash. Raider wants a microwave oven marked at $175. Marked at $175. How much will she pay if she is paying with cash? So she only gets a 15% discount if she pays with cash. Okay. What's 15% discount as a multiplier? What's 15% discount as a multiplier? So what, you, what they're saying to you is you're not paying 100% of the 175. You're not paying that. Okay? What you're paying is a 15% discount. You're paying 0.85 of 175. You with me, Ryan? So of means the time. What does that give you? One forty-eight dollars and seventy-five cents. This total is less than the original price, which it should, because you're not paying one hundred percent of that. Yeah. Yeah, but you understand the process of as a multiplier and yeah. Okay. So what did you divide? You said you didn't divide it. I just want to catch you up again with multipliers because I'm not sure we're uh, fully grasping uh, how to do multipliers. Um, and they are a very good shortcut of uh, percentage increase or decrease on a marked item. So uh, let's just say uh, we're buying a pair of shoes for $175, right? Okay, so the, the pair of shoes would cost $175. If we got no discount or they put no increase on that price, what would you be paying? $175. Okay, so 100% of $175 you'd be paying. You'd be paying the full amount. You'd be paying 100% of it, if you can imagine that, yeah? But if they come in and they say, uh, we're going to give you a 15% discount, you're no longer paying 100% of it. You can't be. You're paying less than 100% of it, aren't you? All right? You're not paying the full 100. How much are you paying? How could you work it out? How much of it are you paying? If this, is the, if this pie graph sort of represented the whole 175 of it, okay, you're no longer paying the full 175. You're paying 15% less. So what are you paying? What's the rest that you pay? Some people are grabbing their calculators. Some people are yelling out. That's cool. Okay. Uh, someone said you're paying 85% of it. How did you work out that it's 85% of it? Ken? Yeah, you're no longer paying 100% of it, you're paying 15% less of 100%. Okay, so you're paying 85% now of that 175. Notice that I try and say it as I would read it. And by saying it, I know that in maths, of means to times, I know that 85 is the number percent divided by 100. We've done this in the last topic, haven't we? Heaps of times. We know that this happens, and therefore we know that
that it's either 0 0.85 times 175 or 85 divided by 100 times by 175. 0.85 times 175. So they'll actually cost me $148.75. So that's if there's a discount. So your discount price has to be less than what it started with, yeah? Because you're paying less. Alright? Is that understand? Can I explain that better for anyone? Right. So what if we're, so that's if it's reducing. What if it was increasing by 15%? Well, that's the easy way, isn't it? If it's increasing, then you're going to have to pay the full 100 plus another 15%. You're going to have to pay the full 100% plus another 15%. So instead of the 100 tape, because you're discounting it, you're, you're virtually paying the full pie plus a little bit more. 115%. What does that look like as a fraction, Jeff says? What does 115% look like as a fraction? <coughs> Sorry. Oh, how could I simplify this, or what would my next step be for 115%? 115 over 100. So the percentage sign means to divide by 100, yeah? And 115 is the number. Times by, because you're finding 115% of 175. Don't be so rude as to pack up, please. We're finding that. So it's 1.15. When you do that on your calculator, 115 divided by 100, 150, yeah, that always does that to me, doesn't it? 115 divided by 100 you get the 1.15 what am I doing? I'm working with what we know we should know that, we should know that we spoke about it in the last um, couple of lessons or the last topic so obviously um, there's some catching up to do, some touching base to do we haven't had a maths lesson for a while Okay, between one thing and another. So it's a matter of catching up to where you should be because this profit and discounts has a lot of this multipliers of multiplying up or multiplying down. 